Alright, so for this video, we had all you college students in mind. I know you guys spent all your money on studying or study materials and parties and after parties. You guys don't have money to go and buy a laptop because laptops, we all know, go for 8,000 Rand, 10,000 Rand, 15 and upwards. We know it gets mentally. Well, this laptop over here costs only 3,000 Rand or just over $200 if you guys are in America. And you can buy it basically anywhere online. You can buy it at Incredible Connections as well. And yeah, it, it weighs just, just I would say under two kilograms, if I remember correctly, it's 1.4 kilograms, extremely lightweight and affordable. Now I know you guys are probably burning, it's like ribbon. Tell me, what the hell, what's the specs? I need to get myself one. Well guys, just hang in there because first we need to hear from our sponsors. We don't have a sponsor, crap. We don't, we don't have a sponsor for this video. Go next, guys, if you wanna sponsor me, the next laptop, please, by all means, get in touch with me, email me, WhatsApp, Twitter, anything. Get in contact with me. So this laptop over here, this is the Connect Swiftbook. It is designed by a company called Connect or Connect Devices. They specialize in affordable laptops that you can use at your work, at school, in university, wherever. Now this one over here is the cheaper model, the more entry level model. This one is running a 2 gig DDR3 RAM with a 32 gig eMMC uh, flash memory. It's got the Intel uh, 2.4 dual core processor, which I know isn't a lot, but for browsing the web and doing all that day to day stuff, surfing the internet, you know, going on to Facebook, Netflix and chill, all that stuff, you can do it with this beautiful beast over here. Now given that it's only got 32 gigs of emmc memory you do have your upgradable um your, your micro sd slots you do have your upgrade bay at the back so i mean you actually got more than enough space this one costs 3000 rand it also came with a 500 gig hard drive so i mean boom problem solved it works i mean i'm happy it's doing everything i needed to do all right so let's have a look at the io on the left hand side we've got one usb 3.0 port We've got one mini HDMI port and then on the other side we have got one USB 2.0 port and one 3.5mm headphone jack. We've also got a micro SD card reader which is upgradable to 120 gigs. So for the past two months I, I've been using this laptop. I actually used it to write a script for this video. I used it to watch Netflix, check my emails, browse the internet and buy stuff online. Now of all of that being said, and I, I'm being very happy with this laptop, this laptop is not for everybody. Alright, so the Connect Swiftbook, like I said, is not for everybody. It's not for gamers, definitely not, not for editors, and not even for hardcore web developers, programmers, all that, because it does tend to lag when you get a lot of code and a lot of scripts running and being pulled at the same time. This is for light work watching movies online, browsing the web, writing documents and all that stuff. It's not for hardcore, heavy resource intensive programming or editing, gaming, all that stuff. So anything that will put a load on the machine, it's not good for this one. You will run out of CPU power. Let's have a look at the pros and cons of this laptop. The pros of this laptop is it's extremely lightweight. It's very affordable. It's reliable great battery life i'm getting plus minus about four hours five hours on it beautiful battery life it stays cool when i'm laying in bed watching netflix it's extremely cool it doesn't heat up like most laptops and then also i mean it's got that apple look it just it looks nice and sleek design and then on the flip side the cons the space bar there's only one pump in the center of the space bar so it only registers in the center on the left and the right side it doesn't register and then also the keys. The keys is a little bit hard to press. Sometimes you would type a press on a button and it wouldn't work. It would be just, it, it doesn't register. But other than that, I'm extremely, extremely happy with this laptop. I mean, for that price, it's beautiful. So would you guys buy a Connect Swiftbook for daily use? Watching Netflix, writing documents, checking emails. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys would buy a book or a laptop like this. And then also guys, if you found this video useful in any way, shape or form, make sure to smash that like button. And if you didn't like this video, smash that dislike button. Until next time guys, I will see you in the next video.